a natural log, so I'm going to keep in mind that I can use powers of e to solve this inequality. First, let's just go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to make this a bit simpler, combining the constants on the right. So now I have ln of 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 8. I'm going to take powers of e of both sides. That's ln of 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to e to the eighth power. Since these are inverses, they essentially cancel each other out. They negate each other. So I get 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to e to the eighth power. Now all I have to do is solve for x. 2x is greater than or equal to e to the eighth power. And add 3 to both sides. So this is going to give me e to the eighth power plus 3. Then divide both sides by 2. So x needs to, is going to be greater than or equal to e to the eighth power plus 3 divided by 2. But I'm working with logs, so I need to check back and make sure I don't end up with something that is going to make this negative. So this says x is greater than or equal to this. So the smallest this value will be of x is this. So if I check it for this and it's OK, all the larger values will be OK as well. ln of 2x minus 3. Letting x, let's let x equal e to the 8th plus 3 divided by 2. And if this is OK, the whole solution set is OK. So this gives me ln to the 2 times x, which is e to the 8th plus 3 divided by 2 minus 3. This looks worse than it actually is because the 2's cancel out. This gives me the natural log of e to the 8th plus 3 minus 3. These cancel out. This gives me ln of e to the 8th. And I know that by the identity property, this is actually going to be 8, so I'm fine. Um, I could also just say I know that e is a specific number, and it's 2. And so if I take 2 to the 8th, slightly more than 2. If I take a number slightly more than 2 to the 8th power, I'm definitely going to get something positive. So I'm going to be taking the natural log of a positive number, and then these other values are going to be even greater because uh, it's, it's, this is the minimum value. So today we talked about natural logs and the base e and talked about solving equations that involve powers of e as well as natural logarithms. So thanks for visiting educator.com. I'll see you next lesson.